Let's take a look now at the uh, flare nonlinear deformer. And we've so far looked at the bend and the twist, and this works in similar ways to that. Let's go ahead and start with a polygon. Mm, get a rectangle going here, yeah, like so. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and smooth shade it so I can see. So there's our shape we're going to use to make uh, a flare. Now the flare deformer does two things actually. There is a flare, but there's also a curve which allows you to create a bulge in the middle. So this will be a quick tutorial to show you how this particular deformer works. As with any of the deformers, they only will function on your model if you have enough subdivisions. So let's go up to the attribute editor okay and polycube one and let's add some subdivisions I'm just going to add five all the way around so we have a good amount to be able to demonstrate for you the uh, deformer I'm going to leave the attribute editor open because we're going to need to use the toggles in there when we apply the deformer okay so we're in polygons right now in our main menu here and let's switch now to animation and along the top here you see we've changed our selections let's go to create deformers nonlinear flare okay so we've seen similar toggle abilities here with the other deformers. Low bound means the bottom half of your model is affected. High bound refers to the top half of your model. And the start flare and end flare, we're going to look at those in conjunction with the curve. And it's really much easier just to demonstrate it for you once we apply the deformer and then play with the toggles a little bit. So let's go ahead and create this. Now once I do, watch the model. There we go. So now we have the deformer applied. So let's go ahead now and go to the deformer controls. Okay, and here are those same choices along with envelope. Now remember envelope refers to the overall strength of the deformer. And right now we're going to leave it set at 1 so that we can see the full application of the deformer and then we'll move the toggle for the envelope a little bit so you can see how you can edit with that. Alright, so let's take a look here at our model. And you can, there I'm going to turn, uh, select all the edges there so we can see them as we apply this. So when you are working with the toggles, I mean it's pretty straightforward here how you can create the flare, also known as a taper. Okay. Now watch what happens with the curve. This is where you can create that bulge, boing, or bring it in in the middle. Okay. And let's leave a little bit of a bulge there. Okay. Good. Now, low bound again refers to the bottom half of the model being affected, and high bound refers to the top half of the model being affected. Okay. So we're going to create quite a distortion here. Let's go ahead and expand the curve a little bit more and really create a very interesting shape with the flare or taper and with the envelope again this refers to the overall strength of the deformer. If I set it back to zero notice everything goes away. So if you have a shape you created and you want to tone it down just a little bit you can also use the envelope to determine how much of the deformer is going to be applied and that is the nonlinear flare deformer.